I am curious to listen to her confession and her story because that's exactly what I'm here to do. My lady, you're welcome. Thank you very much. This is Confessions. Let us hear your story, your confession. Um, Miss Nancy, I, I feel so broken and dejected. I, I don't even know how to tell the story. Try. <laughs> um, my childhood best friend has been away for some years and we had a chance to meet up in town. Mm. Yeah. She she's living well. Mm -hmm. yeah. She she's rich and mm. she has a car, she has built a house. Mm. In fact houses. Mm. Yeah. So comparing myself with her, I felt I was far behind. Mm. Yeah. So I keep asking myself why am I not why am I not making it? Because I'm hard working, I'm doing everything I can. Mm. But I make a lot of loss in my business. Mm. So I confronted her and I asked her how she Jeez. made it. Yes. So she told me she would help me. Okay. Yeah. So kind. So I felt so pleased with it and so we embarked um, on a trip to Benin, yeah, to see greener pastures. So on our way to Benin to see to greener Benin. pastures. Yes, please. Okay. So on our way, the road was very scary. It was mm -hmm. dark, and I have never been there before. Yeah. Okay. So, but I trusted my friend because she told me she would help me, mm -hmm. and I've known her since my childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on our way. Um, we alighted at a beautiful house mm -hmm. and an Indian giant came to open the door for us. But okay. Yeah. So when we entered, he took me to a room alone. Mm -hmm. So he told me to take off my clothes and I did. Okay. Yeah. So after I took off my clothes and he laid me on the bed, uh -huh. he tied me up, he tied my hands and my legs. Yeah. To the bed. To the bed. Yeah. Okay. So he went out of the room and he came back in some few minutes and he brought um, a basin of snakes and he poured the snakes on me. Oh my God. And Did they bite you? Miss Nancy, <laughs> one of the snakes entered my <laughs> and I could feel it moving in my stomach. Jesus yeah. Christ. So after he left, <laughs> I couldn't scream. I didn't even know what to do. I Is this like reality or it's a dream you had? Like real? Real. That's what happened to me. That's what happened to me. So in about ten minutes he came back and he took the snake and he removed the one from my vagina and he cleaned it with a white handkerchief. Um, the next thing I saw was he brought a jute back full of dollars. I mean, Ghana must go. Yeah, Ghana must go. He gave it to me full of dollars. So my friend and I returned to Ghana and believe me, I, I can't even spend that money. I can't even sleep. I, the, I'm just. So you brought. A bag full of dollars. What kind of notes? It's in different notes. Notes? Yeah. Mixed up. Mixed up. Full bag. Full bag. The medium or the large? The large. The large? Yes, please. And you brought it back to Ghana? Yeah, I did. With and, my friend. And how long ago was this? In about... Okay, we returned in about two months. Two months ago? Yeah, two months ago. And uh, the money yeah. is with you? Yeah, it's with me. And why are you here? <laughs> Miss Nancy, honestly, I can't spend the money. Anytime I see the bag, I remember everything and it scares me. I mm. sometimes move out of the house. I just, I, I feel, I feel haunted every day. I feel so haunted every day. After mm. all you went through for it, you are still unable to spend it. 
if she had told me I would go through this, I wouldn't have done have it. Gone. Yeah, because when I got there, you can't return. Once you you're just there, have to do it. You have to do it. Be careful what you wish for. Now she had what she wished for. In fact, she went through a lot to have what she wanted. And yet, she's unable to do anything with it. This confession has been full of goosebumps for me. I am overwhelmed. I want to believe this is a dream. But she says it's actually her reality. Let us go into the studio with my audience and my special guest. And let's see how we are able to help this woman. Maybe we would have to bring the bag into the studio <laughs> and share the dollars amongst us and see what happens to all of us. Money is good. People, this is Confessions on TV3.